for the main changes. They changed like a whole bunch of little other things to make the game a little bit easier and a little bit more vibes. Um, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty into it because I believe when you go into the shop here, I don't think we should go for this full house, but here we go. Full house me. When you go into this shop, I believe you are guaranteed packs, uh, buffoon packs, which are, uh, jokers. Because, like, you can sometimes go into the shop and not see a joker. So if we click here and go into the shop, bang, be a buffoon pack. If these two are not, uh, jokers, you can buy this buffoon pack and be guaranteed a joker. This helps, like, smooth out the RNG quite a bit. Oops, don't do that. And move around all my freaking windows. Anyways, so that's like the core, some of the core of the patch, right? I don't know that I'm like thrilled with either of these. Click the buffoon pack and see where we're at. It actually costs five instead of four. It's on a perishable. After two rounds, sell this card to duplicate a random other joker. That's incredibly powerful. Take it. And it has the perishable tag on it. It's fine. That doesn't mean anything. Do we want to duplicate Walkie Talkie or Odd Todd? Wait, 31 ships when scored. Wow. That's, they boosted that. That is more than Scary Face now. Hmm. Double Odd Todd. The double D. Or double Walkie Talkie. Ten four, good buddy. They got Todd. After two rounds, they lowered this Joker. This Joker used to say three rounds. These are all not odd Todd cards, except for the Ace. It's this card here. The problem with odd Todd. We may find a better Joker, but this Joker will get us through the through the game here. Two, three, five, seven is crap. Crap. Crap, I say. Should be enough. Because the aces are odd cards. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Y'all are freaking beautiful. I appreciate you being here. This is perishable. That's sad. One of the best jokers in the game. Runner. Runner and Todd can be friends, right? Like, very chips heavy. We duplicate both. Seems like not great. I think we have a strategy in which we're going to duplicate Odd Todd. They just save our money. See how that goes. May not go very well, but here we are. Oh wow, queens are here. All my odd cards are here too. Run it. Find some aces and some fives, and this will be an incredible amount of points because it's like odd Todd going. On. Oh, I didn't play five cards. Not very smart. Four, five. This is a straight discard. This. I forgot. I forgot. Sevens and sixes, but play an extra card. Might be waking up a little bit. Very many points. Ugh. No odd Todd points, just 120. We'll play our last hand. We'll see if I ruined it. We have nines here though, so that's pretty good. This card. Nines and eights. Good enough. It is because odd Todd gives just so many chips. No extra money though. Invisible Joker's ready to copy somebody. We can find somebody in the shop better than Odd Todd to copy. Perishable red card. Oh, good. Hmm. hmm. This is the problem with Odd Todd. It's like very hard to play cards that like 
hit it. By the way, Dancing Rigs is finished. Can't figure out how to upload from mobile. Not live yet. I don't know how to upload from mobile as well. I've only ever worked with a desktop client, but I love that. Just copy this one. I think we roll once. <laughs> Can't copy any of these because they both have perishable. That's funny. A 30% chance to hit two of them. You can wait on it one round, right? 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 Feels bad to do that. Straight up to two common jokers. Must have room. Chop has a free uncommon joker. This is a buff to this. Because oftentimes I would complain that the uncommon joker or rare joker you couldn't actually take because you couldn't afford it. That's like a huge change. So the dev really, really cares about the game and it's making some like big sweeping changes and I love that. Single player game, you can make whatever changes you want to your game it's on the beta branch. Um... You know, show me jokers. I don't really want to copy any of these. Wait. We can wait. Hopefully we can wait, actually. It's like the hope. Let's go. Take the three with us, so this is more multi. Grace Fist is okay. Tonight? Yeah, exactly. Get fucking hyped. Invisible Joker bopping over here. Ton of money. Vampire. Hmm. I don't think vampire is like kind of it. But also it kind of is. But also we need to find Midas after this. All right, show me money. If I get a hermit, like we're we're in good shape. We got a fool. Not good. Got a devil too. A tower. Show me money. Emperor, is there money in here? No, but there's another emperor. We can sell this moon. We can make an emperor out of a fool. So I can use emperor again. This is the loot. World and moon. Garbage. Absolute hot trash garbage. Hmm. Our last chance to take grabber so i'm gonna take grabber we'll have just tons of hands to play we'll see what the shop brings face cards are drawn face down great love to hear it i'm going to play it out like this they're odd todd cards only get three multiplier but okay i like to keep my odd cards around we get a bunch of them this card. Very nice. We out. We get four bucks back. We get a refund. Yeah, it's gonna be so good. I'm very excited. Photograph. I don't think that's it. We do have to use this on something. Just roll the dice on one of these. Probably. All cards and packs in shop are 25% off. Hmm. You know what, YOLO? Just, just freaking give me a second Todd. It's gonna be a Todd anyways. You know. We can wait on this voucher. Play one hand. Needle. Doubles your money. I prefer to see a shop. Double odd Todd. What does that mean for us? It means that this hand is incredible. Wait, what? Wait, does this brick the uh, raised fist? Let's see. For science. This raised fist will target the stone card. No, it targets the other card. It should technically... Adds double the rank of the lowest 
Oh, right, lowest ranked card. Okay. And a stone is not a ranked card. Maybe this is on purpose. Pair of fans. Good. Also, other things. Take the voucher. Make things cheaper. Riffraff is not very good. Unless I want to get rid of these two. Very good at this point. A higher fin. Start making our deck weird. One standard pack. A red stamped jack. Not an odd Todd thing, but that is too incredible. Red stamp plays the card twice, and the gold on it uh, means that it can give you extra multi or money. M -m -m money. What's this hand worth? Because I need to know in terms of. Oh, I probably should have played the five instead. It's worth four grand. Okay, so that'll beat the boss. I'm a straight here. Straight? No. Get two pair of them. Not gonna be very good because Odd Todd is like our engine for doing things over here. We have a golden joker for Momani. JJ. A ton of money in these Arcana packs, like we can go for JJ. Temperance. Not very good, because all of our... We lowered the cost of everything. Strength good, though, actually. Strength these into Odd Todd cards. Wait a fucking second. Strength is kind of incredible. More Odd Todd cards. Fuck up your deck. The name of the game. Death into an Odd Todd card. Probably like the six into the ace, probably. Yeah. Get left card into right card. Find a ton of money, but like, I don't know, JJ could be really good. We're just reroll for something else that's actually good. Perishable blackboard again. Why? Also, 10 4 is back. Not very good. All right, three grand, one hand. Figure it the fuck out. One hand. Discard. Show me another ace. Show me another ace. Fantastic. I'm gonna dump a higher fend on him. I probably don't need to. World is spades. Um, probably don't need to do this, but. I would like to not lose immediately right here without doing the math. It's supposed to be a vibes game. Eight grand, okay. Not bad. One bad plenty. My money. Retrigger all played cards in final hand of round. We have six hands to play though, so that's probably not very good. We're looking here for more money from our Arcana back or strength or other things to bolster our deck. Hangman to remove two queens is incredibly good. Gambling extraordinaire. Yeah. Jock de Orsh, how are you? Welcome on in. Uh, Meowdy partner, if you will. We have Meowdy over here and Todio. You can kind of see him in the corner. What's good? Checking out the new patch. Uh, on the last patch, I have one gold stake win with the yellow deck, and then I was working on the other ones. Um, and then... The new patch dropped, yeah, and uh, checking it out. Are you a Malacher enjoyer? If so well. That's one elaborate neon sign. It's actually two signs. Meowdy's about three and a half feet tall, and Todio's like, I don't know, a foot tall, two feet tall? No, it's not quite two feet. But yeah. I never went past Purple Stake. Yeah, game is like. Frickin' hard. The other thing that we have is uh, Meowdy Jam, which is like my new favorite emote. Let's see here. Meowdy Jam. We just. One of my friends, Bat Penguin, she did this for me. Like, oh, Meowdy Jam. Anyways, welcome in. 
We do hilarious things around here. I may not be the best at the game, but we try to be better every single time. Play a lot of Brotato, Bellatro, other things. Played Tetris yesterday. Tetris Effect Connect is an incredible game. We find the joy in gaming, right? Because there's like plenty of joy to be found. Standard pack to find an odd Todd card is like pretty strong. A nine or a five. Where are we at? Nines. Fives. I want the nine because like the unpainted one. These jokers are like not it. Odd Todd doing a lot of carrying with like raised fist. One three roll, please. Gershwell. I think we just take hanging chat as like a little bit of bonus. Personal opinion, Blotch kind of falls into the same pro problem pit as most other deck builders out there. Instead of becoming more difficult, the game becomes more luck based. Does it become more luck based? Um, I don't know if that's true. It becomes one of the things that it does do is that it it quarantines strategies down, right? Like it sharpens all of the strategies that can get you through the game. But I don't think it makes it more luck based. Um. You may have your strategies that you like to like push into the game, but I don't think that that's Bellatro. Let's do the John <laughs> Meowdy Jam. Yeah, that's from Bat Penguin. Delcy, hello, welcome in. One of the things is that it does cut down the strategies that win. So like as you as you make the game more difficult, or as you make more po to score more points, like Violet Vessel being a million points. Um, like, that cuts down the strategies that are good. Green chip wins on the first four decks. But I, but uh, one of the best players at the game, um, and it's going to be uh, the best player probably at Bellatra right now, and we'll never know the best player, the best streamer. Um, what's his name? Life Coach. He got seven gold stake wins in a row with the yellow deck. So I don't think it makes it more luck based i think it makes your choices matter a lot more you have to look introspectively at your choices and looking introspectively at your own choices is very difficult i don't want to look at my own choices that's terrifying oh god i'm not the problem i can't possibly be the problem start here we'll trigger both tods yeah that's why hanging chat is good you have jokers. I have no scaling in my jokers right now, but like, yeah, so it makes each and every one of your choices more important than previous times, right? Like, should I buy these standard packs for more odd Todd cards? Kinda. Or should I roll it so that I can find a good multiplying joker? That's the thought here, right? I think I actually kind of I, I rolled it for a multiplying joker because this joker isn't giving us any points. It's going to be a problem in the future. You didn't find that? And then just to roll down my money a little bit, I am going to take a standard pack. So I don't know that it makes it more luck based. If you want to jam the same strategy in to win, yes, it makes it more luck based. But the biggest problem with roguelikes and one of my favorite portions of roguelikes is that it, it all of your choices matter. Your choices like really, really matter. And your choices don't matter. I don't really like playing the game. For example, I don't really like Lethal Company as a game. Your choices don't matter in Lethal Company. Nothing matters in Lethal Company. Then I had about seven games in a row where I had no jokers in the first two shops and then one good joker appears in shop four, just a little too late. Shop four? There had to have been a good Joker that showed up. They fixed this in the latest patch, though. So, in the first shop, you are guaranteed a buffoon pack. Or in the first ante or something, you're guaranteed a buffoon, buffoon pack. Did someone say jam? Yeah, exactly. Isn't it good? It's so good. So, the new patch may fix your concerns. 
So the new, but the new patch may fix your concerns. I didn't read all the patch notes out, but one of the one of the notes is that you are guaranteed a buffoon pack in that first shop to like smooth out your your thing. So I'll see with the three streak. Let's fucking go. How are you and your wife doing, by the way? We were deep in a conversation, so I didn't get to ask the usual. Uh, I mean, yeah, double odd Todd. Yeah, uh, make sure you switch to the beta branch on, uh, on, um, that's my brain breaking today. Uh, switch to the beta branch on, on Steam, and if you have troubles with that, reach out to me, I'm happy to help. Because the game is, like, so freaking sweet. Ugh. Let's card here, find me another ace, and then play this one first. And this is how Hanging Chad is good. A lot of people look at Hanging Chad and go, it's not very good. And it's like, okay, but if you have jokers and you have like a painted card like this with like some type of alteration. Oh, it's so good. I do need to multiply my multiplier at this point though. We're only going to have two multiplier because of our, our uh, raised fist, but... But smooths out like... The biggest problem with the game is that the first about 50 money that you get in the game is so very important and then the money doesn't really matter after that um play thrice oh two additional times i thought it was good already at one time oh man they doubled how good it is holy shit wait a second that's incredible i love that I was into it in the first place, like sure it was niche, but now it's even less niche, because like if you have jokers that like do stuff with Hanging Chad, that's incredible. I have to click this, right? Like there's no way I'm not clicking this like mega spectral pack, <laughs> right? How, how am I, uh, like how? Number cards, boo. X, add polychrome to a random joker, destroy all of their jokers. Probably not. This pretty good. All right, we're encanting. King gone, good. All right. Don't destroy my don't destroy my aces. Three gone, aces. All right. Most people don't like hanging Chad because a lot of jokers that were pretty much did what hanging Chad did but better. Yeah, like mime. Not mime. Hack hack with um Fibonacci the Fibonacci hack strategy. All right, where are we at now? Cool. I'm into it. Last three sitting in there too. Uh, we don't really have like a play a certain hand strategy. We have play probably a full house in general so we get as much Todd out of it as possible. Yeah, I was pretty into Hanging Chad, but like also Hanging Chad ha was incredibly niche. It's way less niche now, now that it plays it three times. First card played three times, holy. It, that's good. I need to reroll this too. Perishable. I think we have a four of a kind strategy going. And the third time we've been offered walkie talkie. Remains Vagabond credit card. Also good. Have you had um, Midas and Vampire? I took a Vampire to like 22 multi or something with, with Midas. It was great. This is freaking great. Oh, that was a good run. The highs are so high in this game that I don't mind the low rolls as well, right? Uh, I'm gonna re-roll one more time. Jesus fuck. These are not it. Um, I think we do this though. We're at like anti four or so. One in seven cards face down. Okay. Get this trash out of here this trash too. This seems pretty good as a start. Midas mask, yeah. I got Midas and, uh, and vampire one time. Great. Know what these are, so ditch all of the even. This is complete trash. Like, wait, what? 
throw the spades. King not ace, thank you. I only have two discards, so I'm not bi I'm not too surprised that we can brick out like that, but we have so many hands to play that you just use hands as discards. Like not a problem, I don't think. Perishable. What is Jumbo buffoon pack. This is incredible. It's incredible that the packs don't go up in price anymore. That's an incredible change. Oh, it's back. <laughs> Golden Joker. Also the internal egg. I don't think any of this is it. Oh no. Okay. The pack's not going up in price is like kind of an incredible change. Roll it. I mean, he gets us a roll right now. We're looking for stuff. Perishable <laughs> throwback. Why? All right, well. <laughs> I tried to dig. The digging didn't work out so well. Let's see if we die here. Painted four. That's that came from the spectral pack though, so it's not too unexpected as it were. Three needs to go. You just go like this. Triple play of this guy. Money me. Money. Money. Money multi, yeah. Also good. Alright, the hands were 17,000. Understood. We could flush house this as well, too. I don't know how much I would... I don't know where I'm getting better value, but I don't know. It also opens up more planet cards, which I don't really want. We're not really flush housing. We have so many chips and so little multi. Kind of incredible. Is there a joker that Hang Chad can, like... Hit multi on. Matador's back. Second time for Matador. Also, look how cheap these packs are. This is incredible. You can just click packs all day. Give me a hermit. Fantastic. So good at the game. Also, I don't, I don't know. I love cracking packs in this game. I don't know what it is. It feels so good to crack packs. We're also going to do this. Sell this. Get a little rebate here. Emperor, what you got in you? Temperance. Not very good, because I made all of my jokers cost less, but we get a rebate. I had one game which I lovingly called the Hamburglar. I had the joke that you get plus four hands and green joker. Yes, I have had that. Burglar and uh, green joker. Burglar, I believe that run also saved me from um, the needle. Hell yes, some of this. <laughs> Perishable rocket, that's hilarious. Perishable fortune teller, but on average it's better than the popcorn? For a brief moment, we'll do that. Supernova, I don't think we're Nova-ing. I played a bunch of two pair. Hmm, are we Nova-ing? We just play two pair. worth 12 and fortune teller's worth 12 and fortune teller goes away i mean i guess let's give it a go but at some point sell raised fist for a multi multi like we're still on a short chain here a short leash i feel i don't feel that this is like the best <laughs> this is hilarious um i want to do this though so that we can stack up supernova um but the four of a kind! No! Um. Yeah, 11,000. Holy shit. Hanged man. Well, get him out of here. Make my deck smaller. Very much. Take this with you. Or, no, keep the sevens, because we have sevens in the deck still. A little less multi, but backing up Supernova with two pairs. Luck base is kind of funny considering one of my favorite games is Caves of Cut. <laughs> it's just the epiphany of randomosity. Yeah, it is. That's really funny. This is, again, we think introspectively occasionally and go, oh, am I the problem? No, I'm never the problem. 
This is planet Earth, baby. I'm never the problem. Couldn't possibly be me. I played Caves of Cut like years ago, yeah. Good game. If I'm thinking about the same thing, let me pull up Steam here. Hold on, Steam, where are you at? Caves of. No, no, stop auto playing things. Caves of. At this game. Oh no, click the thing. Caves of. Ink. Yeah. For those who don't know, I'm just going to read the description. Like, Caves of Covet is a science fantasy roguelike epic steeped in retrofuturism, deep simulation, and swaths of sentient plants. Come inhabit an exotic world and chisel through layers of thousand-year-old civilization. Game is sweet. Like, Dwarf Fortress, Rimworld, a whole bunch of things jammed together. Release date, 2015. Yeah, years ago. Their 1.0 is just coming out? That's fucking awesome. Ten years in the making you on that uh, on that wish list BB how you doing what's good cash me out it's like a very slow strategy oh you have perishable on you god damn it perishable changes everything it's Tuesday so you know Tuesday See that rumble roar got me a new uh bright neon sign over here toadio the toad i gotta put black backgrounds on these things they're like too freaking bright no caves of cut hey chill no yeah there he is toadio we also have meowdy jam now Pretty sweet. What do I want out of here? Hierophant's like pretty good, but I have plenty of chips, right? Amazing build in which my mutant had insane regeneration, which resulted in 200% chance to regrow limbs every single turn, causing immune to insta kills. And <laughs> yes, yeah, I love that shit. That shit goes wild. We either do Justice or we do uh, Magician. I think we do Justice and turn this knight into a glass. It'll be played three times by the ballot, which is very good. Very, very good. Now, uh, I think Telescope's actually good here because we have a clear strategy that we want to play two, uh, two pair. Guess what's in here? Uranus. I love Uranus. Make the anus joke. Make the anus joke. I did it. Am I a good streamer yet? Are we getting... Are we blowing up? Is that the way to do it? Oh, God. Base chips and ab. I hate it. This boss is the boss I hate more than any of the other ones. Two pair. I'm decapitating, so I had 10 arms. Yeah, you're basically like a whirlwind of death. Flint and whatever the blue boss dot is, my least two favorite. They, I believe it's called the arm, where it lowers the level of your of the thing played. What you're talking about, Telsey, would be my guess. We keep the sixes because we have a clear strategy that we want to employ. A glass card on hanging chat is incredible now. Like, not the best, but still really good. Holy shit. Um, I think I want to discard these low cards. But I also want to keep these sixes. It's just like, do we get out of this fight is like the concern. Arm is usually fine. Two of the same hand. Yeah, that one's also a pain. Set your money to zero, a pain. I don't know, this one's like the biggest pain for me. Uh, what do we have left in the deck? So you keep the 
five and you ditch. Wait, how do I have so many nines still in the deck? What? Oh yeah, I strength up some nines. That's right. So eight goes, king queen goes, seven and five. The five. This card. Hey, let's go. I'm so good at the game. Let me get our 10, our 20 multi. To mention uh, the game RimWorld, I would give because I'm a child. Me too. And then you make all the rim job jokes. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Like, how do you not play? My build minus match when uh, cloning appeared and cloned me. <laughs> Locked in eternal struggle. Oh, it's incredible. I love that shit. See, that's a great storyline. There are like incredible storylines when you have incredible bullshit happening. This is like, um, Jock, have you played uh, Noida? Like Noida also does this where you get like incredible storylines. This is not for us. Plus steel packs for us, that's for sure. Level me up my anus. You have fantastic. I would like another Joker maybe at some point. Maybe. Roll me. Be sad. Take the standard pack. Find another odd Todd card. God damn it. The double upgraded card. You know, it's kind of sad. Playing a two-pair sets money to zero. Well, guess what? I won't have any money, but 100,000 is kind of spooky. We don't have multi or multi in here. That's, like, very, very spooky. So, nine, eight, let's go. Hey, eh, we're here. Oh, it gave us money. Lucky card gave us money and 20 multi, which is actually a problem because I want to play more. Oh, it's not a problem, actually. I get to play plenty of more because we're not creating any any points. Yeah, this run has been a struggle. It gave 60 multi? Yeah, what the fuck? It's streamer client, my man. Just have the streamer client. Hanging Chad plays the first card three times. I'm also super dead, like not even close. You can play this straight, but I don't think it's good. But also like, what else am I gonna do with my life? Can't straight flush it because we don't have a diamond. We don't have enough diamonds. Put this over here, play it three times. Shattered, I'm sure. We get out of this fight, but do we do we win the game? Not yet. Getting spooky. This is like the worrisome. Eternal flash card. You are better than raised fist right now. On average. Due to our strategy. One of the things I'd like to see here is crack these Arcana packs. Cheap Arcana packs? Hell yes. Give me. Give me. Give me. Turn this four into this ace? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Fuck up my shit, fam. Do it. Spend all my cash in the next shop. The next shop. But I do need to spend all my cash because 75,000 points is like a lot. It's a lot. Uh, tower's fine. Get this four out of here. But also, this is helps us spend all of our cash, right? Paint up some more cards. Reroll. Boom. Garbage. Great. This is great. It might be coming together. The tale ended like a real piece of mythology. I love that. Like, I love that shit. I don't think any of this does it. Uh, we'll take one more really expensive free roll, and then we'll go next. Burglar you more, but I don't think that helps us. Oh, wait. Actually. Actually. Um, actually. Get that shit out of here. 
Uh, yeah. I want as many points as possible because we can, like, lose the, the run right here. At 75,000. Ugh. I need to dump all my m money into JJ. JJ, we trust 27,000. Holy shit, that is, like, not good. It's right above Zealousy. In, in the end of the game, Broke. Oh, I missed this one. In the end of the game, broke because the health of both me and my clone went into the negative, which rendered us immortal. And I deliberately stood in a room full of enemies for 30,000 turns. My clone, however, was also immortal. So you had to scrap the run? <laughs> okay, that's even better. That's absolutely incredible. Yeah, I thought they were the same message. Sorry, I missed it. Thank you for calling that out. That's absolutely incredible. Not to jam Hierophant. This is a potion. We're saving it for the next round. This is a potion. This is the reason. Think of your consumables as potions and use them when you absolutely have to use them. This is the way that I think of all of the consumables in this game. You use it too soon, you get fucked. Now, I like to leave one, like, consumable slot open in case you see a super sweet consumable in the shop. But we don't have to do this anymore. Like, that's also, like, a consideration. Get out of this one. We spend all of our money. Also consideration to like use that 10 to get a tarot card, but also like TV. None of this helps. Buffoon pack. None of you help. Thank you very much. Thanks for showing up. It's my TED talk. Give me money. Not money, but it's like not not money. JJ. JJ. This is also incredible. Fuck. Keep these two. Mary Andy. Plus three discards each round. Pl minus one hand size. Incredible. Midas. <laughs> yeah. Walkie talkie is like showing up a lot, okay? Like, I don't know what it is about walkie talkie showing up so much. Sets money to zero. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, also, let's get. Oh, I don't have the hangman. I'm gonna delete the king and the jack. I should have taken a king and a jack with me. Goodbye, money. I don't love you. Jack, thank you for sharing that story of your Caves of Cud. Epic. Absolutely incredible journey. I think we make it. We have five hands. Oh, I faced the ox with like 200 before. And I was like, I'll be fine. I don't need to spend the money. We'll be fine. And then I fuck it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, ox will fuck you up. How many threes left? Bunch. They're all of our odd tods. Cards. Now the thought here. Paint these threes. Because then we open up a slot. Because the justice is just like so much better. Oh yeah, this. We're still only making like 25,000 a hand, which is like not enough. Depending on the boss we face at the end. So we need to like juice up JJ and juice up our supernova here. Minus 20 off credit. <laughs> Minus 20 from the tooth. Oh god. Uh, yeah, uh, setting to zero also is like a boon sometimes. I like that things in this game are sometimes a detriment and sometimes a boon. Set your money to zero from negative 20? Hell yes, Ox. Thank you very much for giving me 20 bucks. Oh, I think we buy this. I want to buy this. I want to buy this. We'll come back for the voucher. 
Do I want to buy a chariot? It costs three. That would be fine, right? Oh god, water. Okay, well, you know. We'll give you 39 bucks. But I want to play hands. The problem is I want to play hands. 90,000. We get out here. I don't think this will be a problem. This is too much, but I want to get money off of this. Show me money. Yes, money. Oh my god, I'm so good at the game. If you ever, I need to turn down the streamer client like just a little bit. Let's turn that down just a little bit. Holy shit. Game, calm down. At least make it believable. More money? More money? No. We made it believable. It's still like not that many points. It's 33,000 points, right? Like it's still not that much, um, which is a problem. Ditch all of this. Uh, we already have it. one of our tens. It's already a steel one, so steal our resolve here. Play the two pair. Yeah, we're still only making like 20, 25,000 a hand, which is not enough. Oh, we're up at 43 money again from our lucky cards. Well, that's good. Big fan of that. So now we can buy this one. I have seven hands. Where are vouchers at? Yeah. We have grabber and we have paintbrush. Awesome. This will juice up. These two packs are incredible, and the fact that uh, packs cost less and do not scale, also incredible. JJ. JJ. Strength is incredible, so we can have more odd Todd cards. Turn my kings into aces, please. Turn this four and this six into good cards. My strength is incredible. Pick. You like this? Uh, take the eight with us. I don't know, I just make sure the first card at the far left is for uh, hanging Chad to hit. Definitely says first scored card. 42,000. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, a queen here. No shenanigans, no bugs, no nothing. Just put that card first for hanging Chad. Need to hit like a Wheel of Fortune or hit like another Joker from like a shop voucher. Oh, there are a bunch of hits that are really, really good. Do this. We also just have so many hands in which to play, and our hand size goes up by one, which is incredible from the paintbrush. Maybe an okay shape, because so we can hold on to our, um, we can hold on to these, right? Our steel cards. I wanted to play this seven, really what it comes down to. Ditch like this? Okay, we get to play the ace instead, it's fine too, and a two pair. How much is this worth? This has got to be worth like 50k. So we're in good shape if we don't face Violet Vessel as the final boss. Outside of that, like, we're doing okay. A whole bunch with 90,000 points. All right. Scaling. Ladies and gentlemen, scaling. And then more scaling here, like this. Hey, look, it's Uranus. 20 chips plus one multi. Thank you. Arcana packs that I can still buy because they're not scaling the price of Arcana packs. I get to crack packs still. I love it. Uh, I kind of want an Emperor. Like you, Justice here. But also we can just Magician. We just Magician here. JJ, get some more. Eh. Eggman is incredible. 
absolutely incredible. We've added a bunch of cards to the deck, but we've also deleted cards out of the deck, and we get to delete more like this. Sorry, Jack. Actually, we we'll probably keep Jack. Delete? I don't know. We delete something, though. Let's do uh, this, this, this. Chip the queen. Oh, no. We have to play this. The queen. There's our two pair. We get to double stamp. So this plays six times, which is incredible. What? Where's my multi and my, my money? God damn it. I turned the streamer client way too down. Let's just hang man this. Get these out of here. Take the uh, stone with us. My money. Wani multi's also good. Being able to play the like lucky card three times. Incredible. Should I be concerned? We have four hands to play. We're at 90,000, so... Still in good shape, I feel. I don't think I need to justice yet. Run it out like this, because with our nine hand size, like, every time we see cards, we just see a ton of them. Frickin' sweet. More two pair. Trip the king here. Oh, feels good. It's coming through. Something thing, good evening. I was here yesterday watching you play Tetris, so I was lurking. I saw like six hours and 30 minutes. How long did you end up? It's still alive. What do you mean, did I end up with? Wait, what? What are you talking about? It's still right here. This thing? Right here? Wait, 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 what do you mean, end? What do you mean, end? Like, what are we talking about? It's endless. Like what? Like this? This right here? Why would we? Why, like, why would you end? It's called endless. It doesn't it doesn't end. Like, are we serious? No, there's no saving it. Oh, it's endless. You just keep playing. What? Just take a little a little break here. A little a little Tetris break. <laughs> you know, we just sometimes you just gotta hear the chimes, right? It had been like, you know, a couple hours since I heard these chimes. I don't have tinnitus, I have chimitis. Where you just hear the chimes and see the gold sparks forever. Yeah, we're up at ten and a half hours and sixty-six thousand, something like that, right? Yeah, just stop in, check on Tetris, go back to Bellatro. Don't worry about it. We just check in, you know, a little cool sixty-six thousand, which puts me not even in the top ten. I'm aiming for probably like a hundred and twenty thousand, which is double the time that I have now to be in the top ten. Where was I? What were we doing? I think I keep my ace for the money. <laughs> if someone can do it. The top of the leaderboard is 500,000 clears, which is about 76 hours of play at the rate that I've been playing at. I don't think that will be happening. <laughs> uh, what if I can cement Coffee Traveler TTV on the top 10? I'm pretty, I'm good with that. How you doing though? Something thing. Have school and other things. What's poppin'? This uh, run is poppin' in weird ways. I didn't know we were gonna be playing two pair and supernova and JJ as our scalings with double Todd and a hanging Chad. And no multi or multi. Also we got ads in like 20 seconds. Think about getting another coffee here. Now, let's get another coffee, y'all. We took a small Tetris break. We're gonna juice up our, our boy JJ here some more. Now he's like a half joker. And when we come back, Burden Leaf. All cards debuffed until one joker sold. 
Well, that's not good. Sell a Todd? We'll find out what happens next. We'll be right back. Thanks for being here. If it's your first time here, go ahead and press that follow. All right, we're back. Something thing. I bought DLCs to Vampire Survivor. I forgot how great the game is. The game hurts my eyes to play is my only complaint about Vampire Survivors. The game 
revolutionized the video game industry and showed what a game can be from a small dev team. If I think of just one dude, one dude doing his thing. Um, I need more multi on JJ, I need more supernova. So 180. I have to sell one of our tots too. The double D. Take the fort. What is this hand worth with a... A money. Love money. Money is scaling right now for JJ. 34,000. Oh, that's kind of low. Ooh. Take the king with you. Dicky the Blicky. Would you show deck, please? I would love to. Welcome on in, by the way. Thanks for the follow. Meowdy partner. We have no multi-multi. We have hanging Chad, double odd Todd from a invisible joker. Many of the new weapons are not that flashy. Nice. We got two steel cards and we're playing this run info. We're playing two pair. This is the this is the jam. Welcome on in. The new patch is incredible. I get to buy packs at the higher stakes. I get to spend my money at higher stakes on things that are impactful. Uh, we have a 20 JJ and then Supernova and then you know the usual. Hanging chat also got a buff too, so it plays the first card three times. So here we go. Bang! Okay, 77,000. That feels a little better. What about this? How's this feel? We ship the two because our jack is still in the deck. No, jack is gone. This jack is gone. Okay, so we ship the jack. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Both of them don't matter. Okay, understood. And save uh, justice for a rainy day, hopefully. 60,000. Cool. Oh, I get to get a tarot card? When discarded. What? I don't know how to read. One of these days I'll know how to read. God, it'll be a beautiful day. Can anyone imagine the day? Ooh, strength. That's an incredible hit. This eight could go up right now. I don't think we do that, but that's an incredible hit. Uh, I think we save the glass nine here. Play it like this. We also have more hands to play, so it kind of doesn't matter. What would I like here? Probably... Ooh. No. It's probably a... um name of the Joker. Why am I forgetting the name of the Joker? The Joker that 3x multi, any Joker that 3x multi is like what we're doing. Just like the jam. Also continue to do some uh, my anus. Make the anus joke, of course. Classic. These are absolute omega trash. This uh, allows us to use our strength hopefully on two even cards. One. Here's two. You can use your consumables like this. Great. Our deck is like so cool, actually. We've ditched all of our sixes. <laughs> We've ditched most of our twos and fours. An odd Todd, a true odd Todd deck, because kings and queens are also gone. So we have to sell one of our odd Todds at the end here, which is kind of sad, but that's okay. Death a card. Um Death the 10 into a glass nine is probably the jam, right? Give us the most, like, odd Todd everything. And also, like, glass on ballot. If you get two glass cards in hand, it's kind of insane. We probably keep it, though, because we have extra set hand size. So we do this. Death is left card into right card. I love that. Hit me. The rest of this is, like, 
pretty mediocre, so we just jam here. Uh, or we're on here. Yeah, here. Rerolls go all into JJ here, because this is one of our final rounds. Gross Michael, probably not. Covering up his A. A. One more. All trash. Voucher, probably not. We're putting all of our money into JJ. Last blind, 270. I don't know that we make that. That's like very spooky. Not a lot. Looking for a seven or an ace. I wanted to play something like this. We have more fives, right? Yep. Great. What is this worth? Got a 20 multi, no money out of it, but that's okay. 88,000. Okay. Yeah, these tens. We'll discard this one for another cheer like this. Harriet. I mean, not bad. Not a bad hit. Especially for next round. Um, Played out like this with the Jack. Jack can get out of here. The true Odd Todd deck. Weird. I never thought I would be playing an Odd Todd deck, but here we are. We have to sell one of them, which is spooky, but we're gonna do it. For the boss. Keeping my glass nines here, keeping them secret and safe. And also trying to scale as much as possible for our supernova. This should do it, but we have more hands. So if it doesn't do it, that's fine too like the most plain hand. How much is it worth? 20,000? 30,000? 38, okay. Cool. I love it. Cash me outside. I'll be selling an odd Todd. Sorry, twinsies. Juice uh, Uranus here. This new patch is actually incredible for this game. It's actually pretty incredible. Nope. Nope. Check the standard pack for an ace. Oh, polychrome's actually good. <laughs> Sign me up. We can justice that as well, too. Because you can polychrome and have it as a glass card. All right, here we go. Is this enough? 34 multi on JJ. We have played 48 super for supernova and then we're gonna sell a todd 360 todd i'm so sorry 07 in the chat boys and girls get the king out get that king out of here but also i don't know that there's a better time for this we're chair <laughs> we're making all our 10 steel Twenty multi. Dreamer client. Okay, only a little bit. Ninety thousand. We are beating the game probably without uh, a multi-year multi kind of deck. I want to ditch here. I would like to see some more cards. Chariots here. That's funny. see more nines, right? Right? The most plain of hands. I want to save this jack, because Red Seal Jack is, like, so good. He doesn't hit Odd Todd as much, but you can get multi off of it. Pretty hard. Chariot Jack with Red Seal, so it triggers twice. Also good. Rue, actually. 
The other problem here is like, oh, I'm running out of discards and other things, and there's a bunch of things. I think we just do this. Get it out of here. Chip it. Gonna be so much. I think this hand actually just wins us the game because of all the glass, right? We have four glass cards and double. Yeah. Just ship it. Incredible. I forgot that the stamp is... The red stamp is so good compared to the other stamps. The other stamps, like, pale in comparison. The red stamp is so good. Um, and that's the run at... That felt so much easier. And also, I didn't have a multi-year multi, right? We kept looking, we kept digging, but then we, like, just committed to Supernova and JJ to get our win. And then also our whole deck. I wish I could click the deck here, right? To see the deck one more time. Right, like, where, like, can I see my deck, please? I would like to show them off the deck. But, yeah, glass is nuts. Especially with Hanging Chad, and Hanging Chad getting a buff, too. Like, that's...